Hello, this is Stefan Cassidy here with your Red October Network. Glad to see everybody's here. And uh, thank you for visiting our, or my, YouTube page anyways. Uh, topic of the day, we have a daylight vlog here. I'm up early, so. Anyways, um, the, uh, the Facebook, or just Facebook, has come out with a new set of guidelines and essentially these new privacy notices say that uh, that essentially for content that wasn't covered by intellectual property rights like photos and videos you specifically give us the following permission subject to your privacy and application settings. You grant us a non-exclusive transferable sub-licensable royalty free worldwide license to use any intellectual property content that you post on or in connection with Facebook IP license. This IP license ends when you delete your IP content or your account unless you've posted on somebody else's uh, on somebody else's wall and have not deleted it. Now anyways, there's been a uh, there's been a uh, uh, warning post uh, that's been going around that people put on their pages because they obviously don't want to us to see that or Facebook to own that content. And essentially what what's happened, I hate to burst everybody's bubble, but you signed up for Facebook, you play by their rules. But what does this mean here for the Red October Network and myself? Well, um, the first thing to know is that there is no content, no videos that you will see on the Red October Network that will be hosted on Facebook. We keep everything on the Red October Network on my website, uh, youtube.com slash user slash Red October 90, Stefan Cassidy, of course. And you will never see that, and so those rights are mine. All the ad revenue goes to me, all the views go to me. I will never post any videos on Facebook. And so this basically means that you're not going to see any changes here, at least on the road to around unless YouTube changes their terms. Now what do I think about this? Well, a lot of things, but uh, first of all, I think uh, that we are entering an age now where Facebook is becoming more and more uh, powerful, where they are going to own all your content. They're going to own your pictures, they're going to own your status updates, they're going to own your Twitter, they're going to own everything about you. And uh, with the number of people on Facebook passing a billion probably in the next one and a half years, I would say, that, yeah, you have to, you have to go and you have to be careful. Now, I've heard stories, um, Somebody was laughing about this. I, I was on a website once, and they they said, "Oh, because I was looking about Facebook and how how uh, employers are using Facebook to weed out applicants." And somebody said, "With 88 million unemployed, I can just get somebody who doesn't have a Facebook because you know they're going to waste time on it." And, well, actually, first of all, <laughs> there's more than 88 million people in this country who are unemployed. It's more like 110 million. But we won't talk about that. So Facebook essentially is a... I think it's become a, a property of, of sorts where we've put so much into it. I know for me at least, I guarantee you all but maybe five or six of the people who are friends on Facebook would never talk to me over the phone. And that's sort of, and I mean, that's sort of true. I have like 450 some friends on there. Who has 400 friends? I know somebody who has 2,000 or 4,000. Are they really your friends? Do you really have that many of them? And older people don't use Facebook for anything but sharing pictures of their kids and grandkids. Well, Facebook can be very destructive. Um, I know that a lot of bullying goes on over Facebook. You know, it's very easily because it's very anonymous, it's very impersonal, and, you know, what can I say? It's become one of those uh, catalysts of 
you know, being able to communicate instantly. There's something about talking face to face with somebody that is so much better. Just being in their presence, I don't know if it's because of pheromones or because of uh, being able to look them in the eyes, but Facebook is starting, I mean, as long as they're popular, as long as they're publicly owned at least, they're going to be putting all these rules into place. Um, the, the privacy notice, you know, this is, this is something where I have to tell you, it, it, it's going to get to the point where Facebook is going to own your life. And I'm not using that in a figurative, I mean in the literal. You know, they already sell your data, they already sell all your favorite things to do and your likes and everything, they track everything you do on the web. And, you know, it, I, I really do think, though, that we should become more of a society of, you know, actually getting to know people because I think a lot of people, especially those with some mental disabilities, they can get really, they can get really uh, tied up in it. You know, they can say all this shit and, you know, there's some people who will hide behind Facebook because they can't have real life friends. I mean, that's been a case with me my entire life. Like I said, Girls never gave me the phone numbers. Uh, boys never wanted to do anything. I was bullied through all of high school and college. I mean, it was, uh, you know. And <laughs> but, you know, that and also I think, too, Facebook is sort of a stalkerish kind of site because we put so much of it on there. And I think the more you grow older, the farther you try to distance yourself from putting stuff on there because you get married and everything guys still want to stare you down. I'll admit for the for me at least, I still stare down girls I had a crush on. Guys do it. Single guys do it. Married guys do it. Divorced guys do it. They they'll stare down and they'll do all this shit and I think I think too with the scary thing about Facebook, at least with this privacy notice, is that you know, if you ever, for somebody like my friend Mandy, who has uh, a photography business, if she wants to post pictures, like sample pictures, do those apply to Facebook? You posted them on there, and when's it going to be when the hyperlinks are going to start saying, you know, that it belongs to Facebook? So, I'll tell you this right now, if Facebook wants my videos... They're not getting them. This is Stephen Cassidy's. Okay? That's my stuff. Okay? And I think, personally, that we should... That, essentially, there will be a, a time and a place where Facebook will begin to purchase significant parts of your life. I say it over and over again. And so, I really do think, though, that we will get to a point where Facebook will no longer be popular. And it's going to happen soon. I mean, once it becomes very transparent with Facebook, I think what's going to happen is Facebook's going to have a thing where the privacy is no longer going to apply. That if there's somebody you want to pick on, or somebody you have a crush on, or somebody like that, you're going to have access, either through the ads. I mean, I know, for example, there has to be a Facebook back door. And, you know, the website which is on the back door, you know, it could be hacked. And, you know, there's got to be a back door. And when that back door is exploited, what do you do when you're Facebook? And so, and I already know that they've had is issues with putting up certain websites, like I used to post pirate, uh, uh, torrent links from the Pirate Bay and it wouldn't let me do that. And, you know, there was a lot of, a lot of people bully on there. And I can tell you this right now, I can tell you very easy ways where if you really wanted to cream somebody, make sure they never got a job. It's very simple with Facebook. You just, all you gotta do is just Type, so I'll type in Stephen Cassidy as a big douchebag. And you type that in on a, on a site, you know, on Michael Jackson's thriller site. 
and it goes all over the web and in search engines and you just have fun with it you know you post something where the guy you hate swearing up a storm and it's just beautiful and there, there's no way you can block it there's no way you can get rid of it it's just it's horrible and so that's really the way I see with, with this whole Facebook thing and so I've often said you know a lot the wiser of us have said don't post on anything on there that you wouldn't want your mom to see don't put it, I'll expand upon it, don't post anything on there that will keep you from getting a $200,000 a year job. That's the way I see it. Because you will have it someday. And with the way the job market is now, maybe it is true that companies will just go and they're going to see Facebook. I mean, they, they will have to see it. And there may be very, very well be a case where companies can pay a fee and get a whole dossier on you, all your posts. Because you know Facebook probably archives this bullshit. I mean, I'm not afraid to say that where the video they're watching right now, which by the way, hi, but uh, <laughs> but they could very well be post. They could very well see this video and say, well, that Stephen Cassidy character is just terrible. But it does bring in money, so... Anyways, um... Just some thoughts on it. This is just one of my rants, so... Anyways, I'll leave your comments. Um... I'll see you guys later. So, for the Red October Network, this is Stefan Cassidy. I'll see you later.